Hi everyone, this is Josie from First the Coffee Crochet. Welcome back to my channel. In this crochet tutorial, we're going to go over how to make the mini bean stitch dishcloth. This pattern uses the single crochet stitch and the mini bean stitch. And if you don't know how to do the mini bean stitch, that's okay. We'll go over how to do that in this tutorial. The finished size of this dishcloth is seven and a half inches wide by seven inches tall. This pattern is in US terms. To make this dishcloth, you're going to need about 30 yards of the medium number four weight cotton yarn. For this particular dishcloth, I did use Lily Sugar and Cream, but you can use any cotton worsted weight yarn that you like. You're also going to need a four and a half millimeter crochet hook and a yarn needle to weave in your ends. And there is a free written pattern for this available on my website along with all the information about the materials needed to make it, and I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. To start, you're going to want to create your slip knot, and for your foundation chain, you'll want to chain 30. And if you'd like to change the width of this dishcloth, your foundation chain needs to be an even number. For row 1, you're going to want to start in the second chain from the hook, this one here, and we're just doing a single crochet in each chain all the way across. So to do that, you would just want to insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through both loops. At the end of row one, you just want to turn your work. And for row two, we're going to start doing the mini bean stitch. So you'll just want to chain one. And we're starting in this first stitch here to do the first mini bean stitch. So to do that, you'll just want to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and that'll give you two loops on your hook. Yarn over again, insert your hook again, yarn over and pull up another loop. And you'll have four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through all four of those loops. And this creates the side and the mini bean stitch. And then you'll chain one. And that'll close off the stitch. And that creates the top. And each mini bean stitch counts as two stitches. So we'll be skipping the next stitch and doing another mini bean stitch in the third stitch. So insert your hook again, yarn over and bring up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up another loop, and then yarn over and pull through all four, and then chain one to close it off. And your chain is considered the top of the mini bean stitch. So you have your side here and your top your side and the top. So we'll skip the next stitch and then do the same thing again, another Benny Bean stitch. And we're just gonna do this all the way across. Once you reach the end of row two, in this last stitch, we're still doing a mini bean stitch And even though there isn't another stitch to skip, you're still going to do the chain one afterwards to close off the stitch. And then we're going to turn our work and starting on row three, we're going to chain another one. So that would be two chains after your last mini bean stitch. For row three, we're going into the side of this mini bean stitch because this was the top. And that's the side. This is the top of the next one, and that's the side. For this row, we'll be doing mini bean stitches in the sides of these stitches. Insert your hook and do a mini bean stitch. So this is the top, and that's the stitch we're skipping. And this is the next one we're going into and doing another mini bean stitch. We're just going to do this all the way across the row, skipping the top stitch and going into the side. And 
at the end of row three, I'm just going back into the side of that last mini bean stitch, doing another mini bean stitch. Close it off with the chain. And then turn your work. And for row four, we're going to be doing single crochets again. So you want to chain one. And starting in the side of this mini bean stitch, I'm just going to do one single crochet. And then we're going into this chain space. And then back into the next mini bean stitch side. And the next chain space. We're just going to do this all the way across. At the end of row four, we're just going into the last side of that mini bean stitch there, doing a single crochet. And then we're going to turn our work. And for rows five and six, just going to be single crochets again all the way across. So you'll just chain one and start in the first stitch and just do single crochets in each stitch all the way across. And that's for both rows five and six. At the end of row six, you just want to turn your work. Starting in row seven and continuing through row 19, we're going to be going back to doing mini bean stitches all the way across like we did in these previous rows. So you'll just want to chain one. And starting in this first stitch, we're going to do our first mini bean stitch. Skipping the next stitch, and then in the following one, doing another mini bean stitch. And just continue this all the way across and up through row 19. At the end of row 19, just turn your work. Okay, for row 20, chain one, and we're going back into doing single crochet stitches. So starting in this first side of the mini bean stitch, let's do a single crochet, and then in the next chain space, do another single crochet, and we'll just do this all the way across. When you get to the end of this row, And then for the next two rows after that, rows 21 and 22, they're also going to be single crochets. So once you reach the end of this row, just turn your work, chain one, and start single crochets all the way across. And do that for the next two rows. So that's rows 20, 21, and 22 are all single crochet stitches. Right, once you reach the end of row 22, just turn your work. And now for the next two rows, we're going back to doing mini bean stitches. So you'll just want to chain one and starting in the first stitch, do a mini bean stitch, chain one to close off the stitch, skip a stitch, and then do another mini bean stitch. So you'll be doing this for this row, row 23, and the next row, row 24. Once you reach the end of row 24, and just turn your work. In the next row, for row 25, this is the last row for this pattern. And you're just doing single crochet again all the way across. So you'll just chain one, starting in the side of this first mini bean stitch. Just do a single crochet, and then single crochet in the next chain space. Just repeat that all the way across. After you've reached the end of row 25, you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends. Thanks for watching, and if you like these tutorials, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each time a new one comes out.